Hope. It's one of the best words in the English language. Hope. The very word lifts our spirits and makes the future appear brighter. Hope can give a bounce to our steps and put a smile on our faces. Hope is a wonderful thing. Hey friends, this is Pastor Ron with not just any message of hope, it's what I pray is my last video addressing LaCroix's response to the pandemic. Everywhere I look, I see hope. I see it in people's faces. I see it in crowded stores and on the countenances of healthcare workers who now face the regular stress of taking care of sick people instead of the extreme pressure they were under a few months ago. I see it as more people fill Bush Stadium to watch Cardinals baseball. And I'm going to my first game in two years in a couple weeks. I can't wait, but I digress. Because of the incredible efficacy and widespread availability of the coronavirus vaccines, life is slowly returning to normal. I'm grateful that I and most of the adults in my family have been immunized as well as my closest friends. May we never take for granted the access we Americans have to the best healthcare in the world. Over the past several months, we have continued to relax COVID precautions at LaCroix, both during worship on the weekends and meetings during the week. Now, because of new guidelines and the dramatic drop in coronavirus cases, we have suspended all protocols for all age groups at all times on our campuses. We felt it was necessary to follow guidelines established by the healthcare community for a season to protect the most vulnerable in our midst and to not contribute to the spread of the virus in our community. And I'm also aware that some in our church family disagreed with the steps that we took. I am most grateful that we can disagree and still be brothers and sisters in Christ. As everyone now has the option to be immunized, including younger people, we are filled with hope and grateful that worship and all gatherings on our campuses can be free of mitigating practices such as masks and social distancing. And if you prefer to still wear a mask, by all means, please do so. And as your pastor, I want to extend an invitation to, to come back to worship in person. I know that some of you are a bit tentative, I understand, but I also know that we thrive in community and that something happens when we're together in the same room that typically does not happen from a distance or digitally. Now, online worship is here to stay because we believe it's a powerful tool to reach people who have not yet met Christ or who have not been introduced to our church family. It can also serve as a supplement to our practice of worship when you're sick or you're out of town. My hope for all of us, though, is that we resume the practice of gathering together in the same room. That church online would be a supplement and not a substitute for worship in person. It's been a tough season. I'm not going to lie to you. It's taken a lot out of me, and I know it's been hard on you. But I have found strength in the Lord and have experienced some of the richest times of communion with Him in my life this past year. The Lord is faithful, and He has not and never will abandon us. On Monday, June 1st, Lynn and I will mark our 33rd anniversary of moving to Cape Girardeau to be part of planting the church that would become known as LaCroix. I thank God for these 33 years and I look forward to the years ahead. I thank God for hope. I thank God that no set of circumstances in this world can extinguish the hope we have in Christ. May we be a people of hope as we walk with Jesus into this next season.